Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at the Bole Chrono Shield Thumb Glasses. Bole originally introduced the Chrono Shield sunglasses back in 1986, taking inspiration from their Chrono Ski Goggles and the iconic shapes of the 80s. Now since then, oversized sunglasses have really come back in popularity, and to take advantage of that, Bole has reintroduced the Chrono Shields, taking the iconic shape and added more modern elements and lens technology. Looking at the box, Bole has done a very simple job here. You can see the sunglasses are really large just based on the dimensions of the packaging as well. Uh, black graphics, you have this nice reflective uh, shape here. This is really the iconic part of the uh, Chrono Shield sunglasses, the little shape with the oversized lens. Let's go ahead and take it out of the box and while I do that we'll go over the specs. The retail price on this is $170 with the mirrored lens or $240 with the phantom lens. The phantom lens is a light adaptive lens that is a multi-category lens that can work in both low light and high and bright conditions as well. You also get uh, inside the box you get the brow bar. This is a little foam piece that attaches with these little tabs. Uh, this adds a little bit of comfort when you're wearing the sunglasses and will catch a sweat before it goes in your eyes. You have a removable lens with this so you can swap them out easily just by pulling down. Vented lens. These are the clear green phantom and you can see here on this lighting condition has a slight light green tint to it and in this condition it's pretty uh, transparent as well. When you go in the sun this will darken up. You have thermo grip uh, padding on the temple so you can see it's nice and flexible. You also get the thermo grip nose pads with three adjustment points so you can really dial in the fit pretty easily. You can see here the brow bar if I simply attach it here uh, with the little tabs. I'll just click into place and give it a little more aggressive look as well. So inside the box you get that, the brow bar, you get the sunglasses, you get a nice cloth bag, you get a little manual explaining the filtering categories of multiple languages, and the nice hard case here. Inside the hard case you can keep the brow bar, a second pair of lenses, and the sunglasses themselves, so a pretty large case. Now let's take a look at the weight of the sunglasses. Obviously these are quite large, so I expect them to be a little bit heavier. Uh, the sunglasses without the brow bar come in at 38 grams. So a little bit heavier than some of the other sunglasses we've reviewed, but still pretty light. I mean, 38 grams, not very much. Now let's take a look at the fit and finish of the Bole Chrono Shields. Now at this point, oversized sunglasses have become really common in the marketplace. It seems like every brand has their own variation. What stands out about the Bole Chrono Shield is that it's actually a reproduction of the original. So they're really bringing back an old style retro sunglasses and modernized it. Now these are full frame designs, so you can see it goes all the way around. And it really uh, echoes some of the original shape from the uh, 1986 model. And it looks like a actual ski goggle just because of the size of this. It's kind of ridiculous just how large these are. If you were to compare this to a standard sunglass, it would kind of end here. But with this, it's really double, triple the size. Now with the updated design, they've really brought back, they've kept the iconic shape, but they've brought more modern elements to it. So you can see the frame itself is a matte plastic with sharp angles here. So you have sharp angles on the side uh, combined with the venting here. It gives it an aggressive look. On top with the brow bar, it also extends the frame up a bit which gives it a little bit more aggressive look as well. I typically ride without it as it's a little bit bulky, but if you're someone that sweats a lot or you want to wear it in the summer, it's a really nice feature to have. The temples are also very simple, uh, not very complicated at all. You have essentially a two-piece design with a hinge. It seems like there's a few uh, dedicated spots here so you can see it lands in here, but otherwise it uh, stays pretty stable. And once you're in that position, you can see you have a little bit of play to get nice comfort at the ends of these tips, you have this rubber piece. So it's really soft against your head and can also adjust for different sizes. This is described as a large frame. Now someone wears a medium helmet, I found this to be pretty similar to other large size sunglasses and pretty comfortable. Now, when you pick a sunglasses, you want to pick the right lens for you. It's not about just picking something that's cool. When it comes to lenses, they come in different categories of filtering. 
everything from zero to four, where zero is essentially a clear lens that you can see right through, all the way to four, which really lets very minimal amount of light transmission through the lens, and that's really for high brightness situations. Traditionally, sunglasses come in category two or three uh, for cycling. Those are general purpose, and they work pretty well. If you ever had a category four, you know they're way too dark. Unless you're in midday, really bright conditions, they're just not very usable. So you'd have to swap them in and out. Now, what's cool about the Phantom technology, it's a multi-category lens. So with this light green Phantom, you get a category one to three lens. And that means it ranges from 9% light transmission to 66. So it's really impressive. That means you can ride in low light conditions like early morning or after sunset and then ride in the bright weather as well. So if you have a lot of microclimates or you're on a long ride, you don't really need multiple lenses. Now let's do a little comparison against other sunglasses on the market. First, let's start with a pair of Oakley's. This is a standard prescription lens, and you can see a much smaller frame, more traditional. Uh, putting them side by side, you can just see how ridiculous these uh, oversized sunglasses have really become. You can see where the nose piece ends on both sunglasses. With the chrono shield, it extends another inch or two, so a lot wider field of view. And overall, just much bigger in every single dimension. So you get a lot larger field of view, a bigger lens, and more protection against the elements. It really makes you wonder how you go back to a traditional lens, because the oversize is it's a really nice to ride with. One sunglass I've usually ridden with is the Oakley Radars. These were actually fairly large. They had an XL version. This is the standard version. Again, putting the nose pieces side by side, you can see how much it extends out wider and further down as well. So much bigger field of view again. You won't really see the edge of the lenses and you got a lot more coverage. Now comparing it against other oversized frames here, I, here I have the Smith Flywheel. This is a sunglass we recently reviewed. Pretty similarly sized actually. You can see the lenses extend almost the same place, equally far down. With the Smith flywheel, you get a little bit more uniqueness as the top of the lens extends up, and it's a semi-frameless design with the bottoms being open. Uh, personally, I found riding with the bottom edge here, it's actually visible when you look down, and I've just gotten used to not having it, so I do like having a semi-frameless design versus a full frame, but it's something you can easily get used to. But again, uh, with the oversized sunglass frame design, it's kind of uh, almost become ubiquitous and Almost a little bit ridiculous, especially when you put it side by side with the uh, standard sunglasses. We can also compare it with the Bole Light Shifter. This is another new model from Bole. You can see they're both large, but not nearly as large. I like the Light Shifter compared to the Chrono Shield for something uh, you can actually wear around town or when you're off the bike, as I feel a little bit uh, self-conscious riding with such a big one. But you can see putting these side by side, equally large, semi-frameless with the bottoms open. Uh, but it's really hard to match the chrono shield. You can see, uh, compared to the other sunglasses, this really just stands out. Equipped with the phantom lenses, the chrono shields offer an impressive range of light transmission. That lets you ride in low light conditions as well as full sun without having to swap lenses. And with the large frame size, you have a very impressive field of view that lets you see everything around you in a very immersive way. Our only complaint is that with the full frame design, you do see the bottom of the frame only when you look straight down, which is one reason why we prefer a semi-frameless design. Now let's give the Chrono Shield the final rating. We're gonna go over four different categories, the design, the optics, the comfort, and finally the value. In terms of design, the Chrono Shields are polarizing. They're a large retro modern design that not everyone will like. However, on the bike, I think they're a great fit. They sit right up against your helmet and have a very sleek look to them. Optics, I'd give it an A. The phantom lenses are very impressive with the wide field of view and the light transmission range. You can really wear them in a variety of conditions. Comfort, another A. The temples are really easy to adjust and the adjustable nose piece lets you really get the right fit for any type of face. Value-wise, we'd give these a B plus. Again, they're quite expensive, yet you get a lot of value and with the polarizing design, it's something that really stand out on the road. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. 
This is the Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.